Morning. Morning. Right. Confused. What are you doing up so early? Uh, I've got to get to work. Well, at this time, what's the emergency? There is no emergency. It's just that Gabby's there and Kim and me. Uh, you agreed she was a bad influence. You can't police every interaction that they have. They work together. Yeah, well, I work there too. And I'm her boss and stepmum, so I win. What? I've told you what to think. You know, Kim is no threat to you. I'm going to be 45 minutes early. I want to keep my eye on them. Gabby's not a kid anymore. Yeah, I know, but she's only just not a kid. I'll tell you what, she's no match for Kim. No, I'm worried about you. Oh. I just wish that you wouldn't... What? Care about my family? Stress so much. You know, Kim is weirdly going to be kind of family in a while, and I just wish you'd give yourself a break. Thank you, but I'm going to have to get to work. Oh, and I'm going to invite her for tea. Kim! No, Gabby. Gabby! Honestly! <laughs> Pour yourself another coffee. You know, I'm starving, but I'm always starving. Well, at least I haven't started eating anything weird. You know, my mum craved chocolate and coleslaw when she had me. You, you feeling OK, then? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Just hungry. But I've cut out all the snacks. You know, healthy eating. Should probably start looking after myself now. Yeah, no. <laughs> I've only just arrived. I had a meeting. Oh, if he you? asks, I'm not here. OK? No, I haven't seen it. All right, look, I'll see you in a bit. Gabby around? Uh, no. No, I've not seen her. Huh? You got a moment? Uh, in all honesty, um, I haven't got the time. I'm busy. Well, you know who else this isn't a good time for? Me. Oh, it's about you. Because now Laurel's stressed, you see. And when Laurel's stressed... What is it you want me to say? I've already told... I've already told her she's got as much support as she wants. Do we really have to keep going over this? I hope not. Are you okay, pal? Because you look like you just had one seal past you from outside the penalty area. I'm fine, thanks. I mean, you could do with being a bit more discreet, if you ask me. Do you mind? I've got work to do. I don't mind. Why would I mind? I'm nobody's moral arbiter. Although, it does sound like future grandma and grandpa are having their doubts. But hey, don't panic. I'm the soul of discretion. Yeah, we're on top of it. No, we've not forgotten. Well, at least I haven't. I can't speak for Sharma. Yeah, OK, well, no need to call again. Yeah, yeah, OK, all right, you call whenever you like. You're on marketing duty, Kim says. I'm at the bank in the morning. The bank? That's a phone call. Yeah, well, they'll drag it out. Well, all day? There is other stuff in my diary. Barely. I have access to it, remember? You know, that is, unless you're not telling us stuff again. So what's taking up all your day? Gift experience, woman. I'm trying to get us into her portfolio. Well, that's an hour max. I'm meeting her 50 miles away. Hey, Gabby. It's a trouble. Yeah, Kim's gone away on some urgent trip, so uh, there's all these meetings. Oh? Is she going to be away long, then? Yeah? You know, you don't need to look so happy about it. Mm. Look, is there anything I can do? Seriously? Is anyone going to go up and sort tomorrow out, or...? Gabby, stop it. Kim said I should take on what I could while she's not here. Didn't you now? Did she leave you in charge? Well, there must be something I can do. Well, there's some um, invoicing. Well, I'm a quick learner. So long as you've got time to play teacher. I don't mind. In about ten minutes. Great. So, Gabby, me and Jay wondered if you could fit into a busy schedule to your ours. Uh, well, actually, I should probably get on with this stuff, so... No, no, you've got to remember you, you are your own person out of work, yeah? OK. Fine, thanks. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Who wrote this letter to the insurers? I did. Well, it's kind of pointless, isn't it? You know, if you don't pin them down. 
I thought I had. Oh, I called the bakery, by the way, about the overcharging. They said they'll just correct it on the next order. Good. See? There's someone who actually knows how to do the job. Do you want to keep an eye on Al, look over his shoulder, stop him from messing things up? What, like you messed up with the bakery? <laughs> <sighs> no, I'm just teasing. You were the one who signed off the invoice, that's all. But nobody's perfect, Jay. You know what? I might finish this from home. Yeah? Sit in your pants watching telly. You know, this is starting to wear a bit thin. I don't know how Kim puts up with you two, honestly. You know, and you. You know, you might want to show a bit of loyalty. What, to you? To Laurel. Sorry, what's Laurel got to do with this? Oh, I don't know how Kim puts up with you two. I'll do it, Kim. I'll do it. Kim is not your family. I'm just trying to do my job. And, well, she kind of is now, isn't she? You know what this reminds me of? You and Layla. Remember how that worked out? Not much of a career for you there now, is there? What's happened? Nothing. You need to have a word with your fella. It's like a petulant child. What's the matter? I said nothing. I don't want to talk about it. Gabby, I'm sorry. Oh, for God's sake, Jay, what have you said? You know what, Jay? You're a bully. If someone doesn't agree with you, you either lash out or you sulk. She's right. Uh, whoa, you can stay out of this. Listen, we'll talk about this tonight. I'm sure Jay would be very interested to hear what you've got to say. Definitely. What, tonight? Yeah, tea ours. With him? Are you kidding me? No way. What? Well done, Jay. Perfect. 